Hey pressure washing business owners my name is Jonathan Henderson with pressure washing marketing pros in today's video I want to talk about the six reasons why Google Ads is not working for your pressure washing business because we talk to countless pressure washing business owners on a consistent and daily basis and whether they're a new business or they've been in business for a while you know if they've never implemented Google Ads in their business or it's their first time doing it they make these six key mistakes right and then they end up saying oh, you know Google Ads doesn't work when in fact here at Pressure Washing Marketing Pros, and probably a lot of agencies can attest to this that do marketing for home service businesses or even pressure washing businesses specifically like us, is that Google Ads is probably the most effective way to get fast leads and generate fast quality leads. Now, I'm not saying these are going to be the absolute best. Obviously, if you build a good brand with a referral, which as you guys know, we have another video top ranking the best and worst um, leads, but Google Ads is my favorite way to generate fast you know qualified leads for pressure washing businesses so there's no reason as to why you should not be running them or implementing them in your business and so once you know these six things then at that point you'll probably have you know some more trust when it comes to running Google Ads and you'll know that they work for almost every single pressure washing business so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so the first things first is you're using the basic Google ad setup and you're probably you know you're like what do you mean Jonathan what do you mean by the basic Google ad setup well I'll go ahead and show you because I kind of equate this to what Facebook does when they allow you to boost post and a lot of pressure washing businesses think that they're advertising on Facebook when really they're just boosting the post and so Google kinda of does the same thing right and so when you first start off you probably are doing this you're probably going to Google ads right like I'm gonna set up a Google ads account right and you click Google Ads and you know as you see this is the page that it takes you to and you hit start now and as you guys see I have a bunch of different other accounts right now but on your end if you've never run Google Ads before this will be completely blank and so you know it will trigger you to this page right here right to where it will go alright then you know new campaign right now Jonathan so you're like what's your main advertising goal you're like I want to get more calls but as you guys see down here, what does it say? Are you a professional marketer? Switch to expert mode, right? Because when you go through the Google Ads campaign and you set it up in the way that I'm showing you right now, just like this, this hinders you a lot when it comes to what you can do when it comes to your when it comes to your Google Ads campaign, which I'm going to get to in these next slides. Because like right now, you can just go ahead and do this to where you're like, all right, then here's my business name. And then at this point, you'll go through here. You'll put your website up, right? And a lot of you guys do this. A lot of you guys go ahead and you do this, right? And so just bear with me in a moment while I set all this. Well, not while I set this up because I'm not going to go through the entire steps. But like as, as you can see right as you can see right now, what ends up happening is you say, all right, then I'm going to make a headline you know affordable pressure washing services and you know your pressure washing service whatever it may be right and you set up a particular you know ad and then you put your phone number in here right so I'll just use this phone number that they have right you know I'll use this phone number that they have right here so you'll go ahead and you'll do this right here you'll show the phone number you'll do all of that right and then you'll say you know what I'm gonna set up my keywords and at that point you're you're clicking all of these keywords right here and you're like I do parking lots I do so I do solar panel I do decks I do gutters I do driveways all of that right and you're just adding you're just adding all of this you know all of these keywords which is not allowing you any control when it comes to your campaign at all right which I'm going to show you in you know upcoming in this video right so then at this point you know you pick your location so let's just go ahead I'm gonna say United States but whatever you guys do right and then you set your budget and I will get to this later in the video you guys usually set something that's very minimum like yeah I'll do 15 bucks a day that's not bad right what they recommend for you and then you review your campaign you know where you're like alright then I got all this stuff written out I want more phone calls I have my website I have my ad copy I have the keywords you hit next you put in your billing info like like they have right here and then at that point you're off to the races but like I'm going to get to right now 
this hinders you and it doesn't allow you to do a lot of things. This is why they always say, do you need help? Or if you go all the way back to the beginning, if you go all the way back to the beginning of this, what does it say? Because Google knows what it's doing. It wants to make it as simple as possible for you guys who set up your ads. But that hinders you guys. And it, you know, it puts more money into their pockets because they know your campaign's not going to be as optimized as it could. That's why they have are you professional marketer? Switch to expert mode. Because with expert mode, it allows you way more control and you will get way better results, which is the next thing I'm going to go ahead and talk about, which is the first number one reason obviously was the, you know, using basic Google ad setup. But the number two biggest reason, in my opinion, is going to be not using negative keywords. And I'm going to show you a live example of that as well. And so what you might ask, what are negative keywords? So we'll go into an old account that we used to run for Peach State Pressure Washing. Shout out to David Sessions for selling this company. You know, he built it on a great basis, right? So I'm just going to do the time period of June 1st through June 30th. But as you can see, this is the expert mode that they're talking about. Not this right here, which is super easy for you to set up. This is the expert mode. Now, that would be a whole other video on how to set up Google Ads and all of that, right? But when you switch to expert mode, it allows you to go ahead and set up negative keywords, right? So negative keywords, you can add all of the stuff that you don't want to go ahead and show up for. Now, when we were running his campaign. We had the negative keywords in there, right? But as you guys can see, though, you know, it allows you to go ahead and put negative keywords because you don't want to show up for certain keywords. Now, let me give you an example, and I'll do Atlanta. So as you guys can see right here, if I type in, you know, pressure washing near me, right? And I go on desktop. This is a keyword you want to show up for. So you have Angie's list right here. You have this business right here, 210 pressure washing, or I don't even know what that is. And then you have like Atlanta Power Wash or PowerWashATL.com, whatever it may be. You have these ads running for pressure washing near me. But if we type in pressure washing simulation, which is a new keyword that I've seen because I didn't know that they had a new video game for like a simulation, right? Because I kept seeing my clients get clicks for this, but we've added this as a negative keyword across all their campaigns. But if you look at it, these businesses right here aren't doing themselves justice. So people that are looking at pressure washing simulation, which is this new game, as you guys can see right here, where you can like pretend to power wash houses and cars, which is pretty cool. I've actually went through this a little bit right here. As you can see, the power wash simulator, right? But um, as you know, these guys don't want to show up for that. These guys aren't a freaking video game. And so you see that he shows up for pressure washing near me as well. But let's say, you know, they're at the bottom of the first page. But let's say that these guys right here showed up number one. Not only are they getting clicks for pressure washing simulation, but they, you know, if they get enough clicks when it comes to pressure washing equipment, like let's just see something else like pressure washing boots, right? Let's, let's see who shows up for that. So good thing nobody shows up for pressure washing boots, you know what I mean? But let's just say pressure washing convention, because I know a lot of people show up for that too sometimes. As you can see right now, this same company right here shows up for pressure washing convention, right? So who's ever doing their Google ads is, and if they're doing it themselves, they're not doing themselves a justice. You know what I mean? And so you start getting a lot of clicks for things that aren't relevant for your business. So that's why you'd want to add keywords like convention or negative keywords. That's why you want to add negative keywords like convention. That's why you want to go ahead and add negative keywords like simulation to your Google Ads campaign so you don't show up for them so you're not wasting your clicks on jobs or things that don't pertain to your business. Because then at that point, you're like, Jonathan, I kept blowing through I kept blowing through all my money, man, and I got no calls. Well, you got no calls because you're showing up for pressure washing convention. People are clicking on it at that point and wasting your budget at that point, right? And so that's why negative keywords are so vital and so important when it comes to a Google Ads campaign, you know? So next order of business as well is going to be not setting up different ads and ad groups, guys. So when I was showing you that basic setup like this, it, like I said, it only allowed you to go ahead and set up, it allowed, you, it allowed you to only set up one ad, guys. Remember, it allowed you to only, which, let me just get through this BS. 
It only allowed you to set up one ad. It didn't allow you to set up multiple ads, right? And that's not going to help your campaign at all. And let me show you. And so right here, with as you can see, with Peach Day, when we used to run their ads last year, is that as you can see right now, you know, we want to target deck staining. We want to target fence staining. Let me move myself. We wanted to target pressure washing services and roof cleaning, right? And so as you guys can see, we made separate ad groups, right? And as you can see in these different ad groups, right, we would have different ads that were showing for them. As you can see, number one, deck staining in Atlanta. We didn't have just one generic ad that was showing that was like pressure washing and it was showing up for deck staining. It was showing up for roof cleaning. No, we made different ad groups so that we could go ahead and hyper focus the ad towards people searching them. So if people were searching deck staining, we showed them a deck. We made an ad group for deck staining and we only showed ads for that. And we made sure that these ads only showed up for these type of keywords that we're talking about deck staining. When it came to fence staining, we made sure that these keywords right here were only about fence staining. We made sure that our ads were only about fence staining, right? So we were able to create different ads and have different ad groups for each one of the services that we were going ahead and targeting. As you guys can see right now, we didn't have one generic ad. We had multiple ads. As you can see, press, top pressure washing near me, right? We had ads just like this. And as you guys can see, um, if you look at the overall campaign, the reason why this works so good is, as you guys can see, which I'll show you right now, the conversion data on all of this. As you guys know, the at, what is the average conversion rate, right? Average conversion rate for Google Ads, right? The average conversion rate is about, you know, 3.48%, right? And when you look at, which I'll click the first result right here, when you look at accounts that are actually good, right? You know, achieving high conversion rates and all of that. Now, let me see. It's not going to have it right now, but the biggest thing right now is that they say a good conversion rate or good benchmark conver for conversion rate data is around 10%, right? So if we look at the average conversion rate, it's 3.48%, right? Which is terrible, right? And then if you look at good conversion rate for Google Ads, you know, for perspective, the top 25% of companies advertising with Google ads have a conversion rate of about 12%. Well, if you guys look at this campaign that we were running and the different ad groups that we had, 35% conversion rate, 41% conversion rate, 50% conversion rate, which I didn't like these 18 and all that, but overall we had a 30, you know, a 33, basically above a 30% conversion rate. So we were in the top 1% of Google Ads accounts when we were running this and mostly 99% of my clients, 99.99% of my clients, I should say 100% to be honest with you, they all maintain at least above a 15% conversion rate and 90% 90, 90 of our clients maintain above a 20% conversion rate, right? So that's why you want to go ahead and have different ad groups because it's better for conversions because you're hyper focusing who you're targeting as well so that's the whole basis of that right so another thing about conversion and why your Google Ads aren't working is you're not having a landing page for different services right so goes back to this now we don't have it set up in this account because we don't run ads for them anymore but I'll just show you an example so in these same ad groups when it came to like deck standing fence standing all of these different services when you clicked on these different ads it would have like premier deck staining, you know, company in Atlanta, Georgia, right? And we will put all deck staining type of pictures on here so that we converted more because we knew that's what people were looking for. They weren't looking for pressure washing services, right? Because if you guys, excuse me, if you guys were looking for deck staining and you see this, you know, I'm not saying you wouldn't call them, but the chances raise even more. If of you of you know that individual or you even calling them if you have you know pictures and text that is relevant for their search so that's why if you have like which we do for our clients right but I want to keep my clients a secret in that sense they probably won't want me to show this kind of stuff unless I got permission which I didn't so we're not going to but as you guys see right here 
you know, roof cleaning, right? It's what we do for our clients. We always do dynamic shifts and dynamic changing whenever it comes to different ad groups, right? And different things that we're running. So as you guys can see right now, like roof cleaning, you know, whenever you're running the ads for this, you know, you would have Premier Roof Cleaning Company in Atlanta, Georgia, and you would show pictures of just roofs, right? So that's what we were doing whenever we were running these Google Ads campaigns for them. At that point, we were, we were showing different ads we were, or we were showing different landing pages for each one of these different ad groups. A pressure washing ad group would have a pressure washing landing page. A fence staining, you know, ad group would have a fence staining ad group. A deck staining, you know, you know, a deck staining ad group would have a deck staining ad, deck staining landing page, right? So all this consistency was uh, allowed us to go ahead and have very good. As you can see, this deck staining lead in the month of June, we got seven of those bad boys, twenty six. $27 and we converted 41% of those people. We got 17 clicks, converted seven of those individuals. And deck staining, as you guys know, is a it's not a cheap service. So to pay $186 for seven deck staining leads in a month, and if you close half of them, that's like 3K in your pockets at the very least. You know what I mean? That you spent $186 for. So guys, like the simple math on this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And so our next point is not bidding enough, right? So a lot of pressure washing businesses don't bid enough. And what do I mean by that, right? So if you go to the keyword planner, which you're you're allowed to do even when you set up your campaign just like this, but the Google keyword planner, which you guys can find if you go to tools and settings and go to keyword planner right here, is that you can look up, for example, like different keywords like this, and then you can change your location and you can see how much the bid is, right? So you can set your minimum bids in your account. So a lot of you guys, when you say that, oh, I'm gonna spend $15 a day in my account. Well, look guys, if you're in Atlanta and the top of page bid range, which means to be at the top right here for Google Ads, like let's just, let me just type in pressure washing services and do Atlanta, Georgia, right? When I do that, to be at the top right here, guys, this is the top of page in the high range. You don't want to be at the bottom. Who looks at the bottom, right? Who looks at the bottom of these campaigns right here? Nobody really does. Everybody looks at the top right here. So as you guys can see right now, when it comes to this, right, is as you guys can see, you know, this shows you the bid range and how high and, you know, where you need to set your minimum standard when it comes to a cost per click because Google gives you this information right now, right? And so you know that you need to at least spend or bid at least 12 bucks, right? So how many clicks do you want to get, right? So if, if a conversion rate is 20%, that means that you want to at least be able to get five clicks, which means you want to budget at least 60 bucks a day, right? So people don't bid enough. They don't budget enough when it comes to Google Ads because, like I said, you don't want to be at the bottom of the page. You want to be at the top. But you don't want to just say that your daily budget is going to be 20 bucks because then you're only allowing yourself to get one or two clicks a day, which is not going to allow you to go ahead and get the type of leads that you want to generate with Google Ads. So a lot of people simply don't bid enough on Google Ads. They simply don't budget enough throughout the day. And as you guys can see, the top of paid bid range right here is $12.21, as you guys can see. And so you want to set these minimum standards in your Google Ads campaign, guys. And so, you know, the last thing I want to talk about why your Google ads aren't performing as well is you turn your ads on and off, which you should never do. So as you guys know, you know, we do, we do, um, you know, ads for different type of companies, but a company that I'm invested in as well, I will show you guys, right? So this is a junk removal company that I'm invested in, right? And so even with that, we do the Google ads for this company. And the thing about it is that, you know, we capture a lot of this, as you guys can see, we capture a lot of conversion data. And I know you guys are probably like, Jonathan, why are you talking about the junk removal company? Well, I'll show you why. And so we capture a lot of conversion data, as you guys can see right now. And so Google uses this conversion data. And so when you turn your ads on and off, you're not able to get as much data as you want to make your ads as optimized as possible to where you don't have to spend as much, to where you're converting more leads at a lower cost, you know? Because if you turn your ads on and off, the data in your 
Google Ads account is not going to be consistent. Therefore, you're not going to be able to optimize your Google Ads account to its fullest extent. Because I have clients that run their ads throughout the entire year, which we kill it whenever you know their seasons come or throughout the year because we have so much data, right? But companies that are like, Jonathan, we're going to turn it off for these next two months. We've been super busy, whatever it may be. They're not getting that data into their account. So when they start again, it's like, we're basically starting three steps back again because we have to get new data, new information. There's new people running Google Ads, right? There's new competition. There's all this kind of stuff that we can't factor in because we don't have that data over a long period of time. That's why you shouldn't turn it off and turn it on because then you can, which that's for a whole other video, but you can use automatic bidding strategies and Google will do this for you, right? No action required as smart bidding already optimizes for signals. And so once you have a lot of data, Google's like, you know what? You don't, you know what? In this place in Waxhaw, you go ahead and you convert a lot. So therefore, we're going to bid more in Waxhaw. But you know what? For this keyword junk service on a desktop computer, you don't convert for that. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and bid less for that. The time of day. You know what? On mobile phones from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., you guys kill it. Let's go ahead and bid more whenever people are on mobile phones throughout the time of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So once you have this information, your account is running super smooth. You don't even have to bid as much. Google is adjusting those bids for you, which not only are you getting more conversions, you're paying a lower cost too because you're only going for the conversions that Google knows are like, all right, these guys, you know, these guys go ahead and they convert well on this. So you have good quality scores and all around you'll pay less and you'll get more leads. And so that's the biggest thing. Those are the six biggest reasons why people do not convert when it comes to their Google ads. Because like I said, Google ads is my favorite way to generate leads for any type of business that's home service, right? But yeah, guys, if you need help with your online marketing with Google ads or any of the stuff here at Pressure Washing Marketing Pros, we do this for all pressure washing businesses, right? We have over, you know, 40 to 50 pressure washing businesses that we run Google ads for. So this is what we eat, sleep, and breathe, guys. So if you want to go ahead and book a free strategy call with us so that we can go over your Google ads, your SEO, your website, you know, whatever it may be, or you just need marketing help, Go ahead and visit that link at PW Marketing Pros free strategy call, and we'd be more than likely to help you. But with that being said, guys, we will see you on the next video.